With budget constraints and a huge stockpile of muzzle-loading rifles, the military call on Springfield Armory was to come up with an economical breech-loading conversion design. Master Armorer E.S. Allen designed a simple hinged breech block conversion mechanism, and the first trapdoor rifle converted from a Civil War muzzleloader came off the line in 1865. In 1873, the trapdoor was redesigned for the new, more powerful 4570 military cartridge. And along with the full stocked 32 inch barreled rifle, a half stocked short barreled carbine was produced for the U.S. Cavalry. One of the first cavalry troops to be issued the new trapdoor carbine was the 7th Cavalry, under the command of the flamboyant Civil War hero George Armstrong Custer. It was with their new 1873 Colt single-action revolvers and their new trapdoor carbines that the 7th Cavalry rode off to the Little Bighorn and into the pages of history. Sitting Bull was carrying a trapdoor carbine that was probably picked up at the Little Bighorn when he surrendered to American troops. Geronimo was also carrying his faithful trapdoor carbine when he turned over his arms to General Miles in 1886. The trapdoor rifle and trapdoor carbine by Uberti are faithful replicas of two of America's most historic rifles.